Okay, so we're making sushi tonight. It's Valentine's Day. And uh, <laughs> no, I'm in 0.5, so oh. it's not even that close. So uh, this is just the nori. We wrap it in. We're going to make it like UMass does. I think that's easier having the nori on the inside. Yeah, yeah, the outside instead of the, rice. Yeah, outside rice. And then this, we are getting a spiel on this. This is actually Korean sushi rice, which yeah, is cheaper, although it's sourced at the same spot. And then the last one back there is just like the the actually sushi, sushi roller. Oh, and it's a resealable bag. And it's resealable. It's like 10 cups in there, so probably 10 servings or so. Let's go to Trader Joe's. And now we're going to Trader Joe's to get salmon and a few other things. But yes, I'm gonna record a little bit of this. Sushi for Valentine's Day, so yeah. All right, so here are the ingredients. I have no idea how long it's gonna take or how difficult it'll be. I think we'll be able to figure it out. But yeah, it should be, should be a fun night. Rice in the bucket. All right, sushi, I mean, salmon is cut. We're now using, this is so American of us, but we're using Heinz, like, ranch usually yeah like the recipe called for like mustard but we didn't have any mustard so we're gonna sort of let this like quickly marinate in um some like spicy stuff so hopefully it tastes good this stuff doesn't really want to come out that much all right here we go Yeah, it kind of is. I'm so yeah. Careful, do you have to eat See if you're shaking. Nice. All right, seasoned, and we're eating chicken salad. Shout out to his mom. But rice is cooking, sushi rice is cooking. Salmon's getting ready to go. The order of operations is kind of always the trickiest part, especially because we don't, we've never done this before, but looks good. Alright, so we tried to make some edamame. It said to put it in the microwave, but it was in there for like 30 seconds and it started like smoking because <laughs> of the, I guess because of the ice on the edamame. Like it was, it was kind of like a defaw, but it just like did not take it well. So now it smells like burnt edamame in this whole entire place. So that's why we have the fan on. But yeah, we're probably just going to have Mama Eva's chicken salad. Alright, so we bought wine, but... Oh, I think it is a cork throwback to Portugal where we didn't Why have a cork. Why did we learn our lesson? We don't learn our lesson. And today, there's, this is a college apartment and there isn't a wine opener in here. What is going on? Yeah, there's I gotta be cork. something somewhere, but that sucks. So we'll have to use drink the other one tonight. And then, I don't know. Well, red wine and fish will look like a dunce. Remember the TikTok thing? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, well, I guess red wine doesn't go with fish anyways. Red wine goes with everything. No. Goes with everything. Cucumber is cut. Avocado is almost ready. Salmon's in the pizza, fr pizza fryer. <laughs> Air fryer. And this boy's ready to go. I'm honestly really excited to do it. I'm, I've always wanted to try to make sushi. And so... Oh, yeah. Of we have quite a bit, so it's gonna be fun. So, that was the cheapest rice we could find, too. That's the funny part. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, the sushi rice, it says US number one, extra fancy, right? It's the cheapest rice we could find in the whole entire thing. So, kind of funny, kind of ironic. It's gonna be good with, uh, like, with actually making the sushi because it won't fall apart. Love it. Honestly, ever since going to Portugal, this like this one there probably would have been like two euro mm -hmm. for like the whole bottle. <laughs> we paid like six dollars, but even here that's a really good deal. So I love it. What is going on? We paid like 30 euro in Portugal for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. We're gonna lemon these bad boys up. All right, look how good this looks. Wait. Oh, okay. All right, we'll use that one then. I just we're gonna use one. They're one half to not waste. Drip. 
the lemon. Here you go. Oh, it's sour. A little bit on the rice. Oh, this looks yummy. Alright, taste test. Very nice. Taste test. I think it's gonna be really hot though. That's really hot. I need to wait a second. Um, let me get the fork. We already had some. We forgot to record. Wow, it's really good. It's so good. I ripped mine up. It's really good. Alright, we crushed those. We're gonna use the rest of that for sushi. Pretty good. It's so easy where it's like, I feel like we'll probably have that once a week when we're older, honestly. Just, just that. It's so simple. It's healthy. Like we didn't have any vegetables, but had we added vegetables, would have been even better. And then right now we're gonna make sushi. Hopefully it goes well. But I'll record the methodology. That's like very malleable. We're applying the rice. I'm so excited to do this. We still have so much rice left, so it's kind of a bummer because we're so, so full. We don't know how to do this. Maybe we just have to do one for now. You're struggling. No, I am. All right, fillings are now on. Uh, uh, roll as that. They do it like in half. We're rolling. We're rolling. Yep. Now push down. Okay. Sick. Now what? I think you just do it again. No, you keep using it. Here, you, you do the rest. Okay. I did this. Let's see. It's gonna be a fat <laughs> roll. Oh, I can hear the insides like gushing. Pretty good. It's just the Let's biggest sushi roll known to mankind. <laughs> All right. This guy's yeah. Wait, put it on this plate. Let's see what it. Wait, that looks so good. She's grabbing a picture, but honestly, I think for the first time, that looks pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, way too much rice, yeah. too many ingredients or too much of what the ingredients that we had. But overall, overall, man, tell me it doesn't look like sushi. That's all I'm saying. All right, folks, plate's kind of dirty, but I mean, first time, not so bad. Too much rice though, definitely too much rice. I think another thing too is, you see at the end, how like the overlap had rice too. I think you're supposed to leave the, with some, with not having rice, oh, you know? So it like connects evenly, but okay. So, the verdict is... It was delicious. No. 10 out of 10. It wasn't good. As so. you can see, she didn't even try. She didn't even finish her piece. Each piece is like probably like 100 calories. It, they're so heavy. <clears throat> Excuse me, heavy. And like the insides are... I feel like the inside proportion is perfect. It's just... There's too much rice. Just way too much rice. And... And we're not sure if we cooked the rice correctly either. Like, we think it might need more time or something. I'm gonna make some lemon water if you want some. I actually would like some lemon water, yes. Lemon water. Or I have some tea and for lemon. How about some beef of Uh, no, I kinda want lemon water. That sounds good. Okay. But, yeah. Um, I'm sure next time we do it, it's gonna be much better. Oh yeah. We still have a I bunch could, of rice left. I think I cooked the rice wrong. And uh, yeah.